Now, also in diagnosing air fuel management issues, always look at not only your O2 values on a graph. So put your, your scan tool in graphing mode, but also look at your trims, both of them in graphing mode. Now, here's a case where I asked you a question. What could have caused this? As we look at short term, first of all, in the lower uh, picture, as we follow from left to right, lower graph, we're seeing about a zero to 6% positive fuel trim number on short term adapt. And then it takes a dive. So it's fluctuating back and forth. Now, if you were just watching your scanner in the digital normal format of data display, you would see the number popping around. You might catch it and it says zero. You might catch it and it says six. You want to see the, what it's doing overall, kind of what the computer's doing. So we're seeing it is adjusting quite rapidly. You would actually, actually be able to lay the O2, pre-CAT O2 sensor, uh, graph on top of short term and they will be just the opposite of each other. So as O2 starts going down, being leaner, you would see shortly after that, like almost immediately, but not exactly immediately, you'll see the trim go up and as the O2 value goes back up, as it does, as it shifts back and forth to keep the catalytic converter happy with oxygen storage and also make sure the computer knows that the O2 is working because it's switching back and forth. We will deliberately do that with fuel injector pulse with slightly varying each side of stoic. We'll also see the trim move back and forth too. So that wiggly trim you see in the bottom picture, that's normal. And you see about an 8% additional for long term as well. So it's watched the short term for a while and compensated and moved up. Look what happens when the short term it takes a dive down, meaning it's taking fuel away. It goes down to about negative 17. And the long term follows after that. What could it cause that? Well, it could be an issue with a drippy injector because we're spraying too much fuel, we're dripping the fuel, I should say, and it's making it rich. O2 goes high, trim goes low. But it could be something that's normal, like onboard diagnostics, OBD2, running not an EVAP leak test, but an EVAP canister saturation test to see if the canister indeed did store vapors and we pull the vapors in, turn the purge on, leave the vent open, pull some vapors out of the canister, and as we use them in the engine and don't compensate, assume we had something to burn, we just let the base pulse width remain the same and we pull those vapors in. In addition to the fuel spray of the injector, we have EVAP vapors. We're going to have a richer mixture. The trim goes down. When the PCM sees that, it says, hey, the EVAP's working fine. So fuel trim and O2 sensors really integrate into a lot of other things as well, including normal OBD2 intrusive tests like that. So that's a normal thing you might see, but you're really looking to see the trends in both short and long term.